Hello, how are you? Are you ready for our lesson again today? If your answer is yes, be prepared, focus, and learn more. What we are discussing today is visualizing decimal numbers using models like blocks, grids, number lines, and money to show the relationship to fractions. What number do you see? If you see 5, you know that it means 5 objects or 5 units, right? How about this number? Do we read it simply as 0.5? Is there any other way to read it correctly? The number 0.5 or 0.5 is a decimal and is just another way of writing the fraction 5 tenths. As a rule, a decimal is just another way of writing fractions whose denominators are powers of 10, and the proper way to read them is the same as reading the equivalent fractions they represent. Let us visualize 0.5 with the place value chart of our number system, which now includes the decimals. And since 5 tenths is our fraction, 5 is in the column of tenths place with the decimal point on its left, and next is the whole number 0. Therefore, we can now read this decimal as 5 tenths or 0.5. One way to visualize a decimal is to use blocks or grids. An example is this diagram. Since 0.5 in a fraction is 5 tenths, we simply visualize it by a fraction of 5 tenths. 5 shaded parts out of 10 equal parts. to represent 0.5 or 5 tenths on a number line. Divide the segment between 0 and 10 into 10 equal parts. The arrow jumps 5 equal parts from 0 to where it points lands at 0.5 and equal to 5 tenths or 1 half in fraction form. The relationship among pesos, bills, coins, and centavos is a good model for decimal numeration. How can we visualize the decimal 0.5 with money? Simply 225 centavos equals to 50 centavos or 0 pesos and 50 centavos. Let's have another example of decimal. 0 0.75 or 75 hundredths. Point 0.75 in fraction form is 75 hundredths. Let us visualize it with the place value chart of our number system. And since 75 hundredths is our fraction, 7 is in the column of tenths place. 5 is in the hundredths place with the decimal point on the left of 7, next is the whole number 0. Therefore, we can now read this decimal as 75 hundredths or 0.75.
Using grid, we can visualize 75 hundredths or 0.75 by this illustration. 75 shaded parts out of 100 equal parts. To represent 0.75 or 75 hundredths on a number line, divide the segment between 0 and 10 into 10 equal parts. The arrow jumps 7 and a half equal parts from 0 to where it points lands at 0.75 and equal to 75 hundredths or 3 fourths in fraction form. How about in money? How can we visualize the decimal point 75 with money? Simply, 325 centavos equals to 75 centavos or 0 pesos and 75 centavos. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get more new video lesson updates.